Got to had to make sure the mic was on. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Listen up everybody. I don't know how I keep doing this. Maybe it's because I'm just naturally talented at being a sleuth, but I have managed again to go an entire day without seeing anything about the latest gaming news. And I've got friends. I've got friends in high places and low places. And nothing got spoiled for me. Go ahead and call me a scrub, Mike the Knight. You do what you got to do. I'm just happy that I get to react to the PlayStation 5 showcase live with you. Again, I haven't seen anything, so this is legitimately going to be the truth be told reaction. But here's a kicker, because this has not happened yet, Mike the Knight, so you can kiss my patootie with this one. I'm joined by Mr. Josh Biddick. I am not alone. Josh, are you uh, ready for this? I am so ready. I've been waiting all day for this. I have I have gone on media blackout. You you sent me a message. You want to do this? I'm like I do. I am excited to be here. I am nervous. I am feeling all of the emotions rushing over me right now. So I am I'm happy. Yeah, I, I am uh, super scared because I just I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know why I'm scared. I really I, shouldn't be because I know it's I'm not... gonna be, I know we're gonna be juiced after this. There's like I, I can't <laughs> foresee a world where they drop this conference or video or whatever you want to call it. And like after 40 minutes are like, oh, that was kind of un underwhelming. Like there's going to be something that's going to have me hype. Yeah. And it's not like they're saying, hey, we're done with video games, guys. We're, this is it. This is yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. We're, we're you know over. What? We quit. PlayStation 5 was a dumb idea. We're, we're scrapping <laughs> it. I don't know what we were thinking. Uh, but uh, so thank you everybody for watching. You, you all are awesome. So thank you for being here. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can see that right here, there is a chat. This is actually live on Twitch. Mm -hmm. You could be live reacting with us, so make sure the next time there's an event, like you're following on Twitter or whatever, and you you know. Yeah. You know when the stuff is happening. But enough talk. Enough chit-chat. Who? Mike the Knight, are you ready? And whoever else is out there lurking or, chat. or doing anything? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. That's a good pun. All right. Are you ready? We're, we're doing a, a simul play, folks, because... That's just the. This whole thing is held together by band aids and paper clips and duct tape. All right, I'm going to hit play. Right. And well, we, well, let me tell you before I do it because I don't want you to go on one or, or go and it's all mixed up. Right. I'm going to go three, two, one, click. Click. Boom. Click. That is easy. Cutting yes. out any distraction. That's why you're the boss. Three, two, one, click. Oh shoot! It just starts right into it. I was gonna say we are clicked. Oh man! There's not like a countdown or anything. It's not mature for all audiences. Good thing your son went to bed. Oh shoot! Look at that. I I'm still iffy on the. I think this console is super sexy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's cute. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow. Okay, so far these are all games we've seen before. Where are we? I have a theory that, like, we're gonna see Jack and Baxter in the new Ratchet Clank. This is the power that flows through this mess. Yet, you do not. I know it's different studios, but it would make me, like, really happy. Yeah, I would be, I would be so happy. Uh, Mike the Knight, um, and anyone else, please let us know in the chat how our audio is at the stream audio needs to come down. Because this is just a hype trailer of stuff we've seen before, so now is the I'm pumped because I realized like I've got the the OG PlayStation 4 Slim, and mm. uh, I got a 4K TV. But the fact that I'm gonna finally be able to take advantage of my TV, I'm really excited. Yes, seriously, I've got a launch date PS4, and that thing is trucking. It's gonna fly away. All right, video is loud. Threat level says so I'm gonna turn down the video just a little bit. All right, I see a bonfire that's telling me Demon Souls. Or wait a minute. You all know the know target. That. Shiva's dominant. Oh. And only Is this Final Fantasy? Dominant. He said Shiva. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Those are chocobos. Those are chocobos. Those are motherfucking chocobos. Whoa. Sergeant, Whoa. Let's summon their icon. Doesn't this look like maybe 11? Icon? That thing is a bloody mountain. That... It... Is it like in the 15 universe? That was a studio that I had not so recognized before. I will their mother crystal easily. This will be a bitter fight. I'm so. 
You should not be out of doors. Excited and confused all at the same time. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. I... Your father will be expecting us. There's no way it's Final Fantasy 15 universe. I have Joshua's shield. It's so old. Not now. I'm Did you say Joshua? Shout out. Best Final Fantasy game. I'm calling it right now. Ooh. Is this the Witcher? What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your sword to our cause? Final Fantasy. What? Ooh. What does it matter? Okay, that's that's some Final Final Fantasy 15 combat looking though. In the of the Twin right, Rose. so it's definitely Final Fantasy. Well, well Final we Fantasy. This is Chocobos. We knew. We cannot defend our yeah, hundred percent. Spread of the blight. Also, uh, Black Knight, thank you for not pointing out how terrible that sentence was I said earlier. <laughs> so, I sent in the Dragoon. Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Dude, I am so thrown off right now. The combat looks sick. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what? It's the Archduke's son. Oh, man. Stop this! Okay, like, I know there's chocobos, but I'm getting, like, a uh, Dragon's Dogma vibes as well. I know what you mean. Second like night on the fire. But. That's impossible. Is it? Oh, that's Ephraim, right? That's that's a Final Legacy Fantasy list film. Oh, is it gonna be like is it like a Crystal Chronicle remake or something? This shape I don't know enough about Crystal like I don't know enough about Crystal Chronicle. I don't either. Alright, my sound's still kinda quiet, alright, I'm gonna move my microphone closer because I've got that maxed out right now. We're getting word that you're quiet as well. Okay. See, I'm struggling to hear you too. So if you need me to move closer or turn anything up, let me know. Whoa. Oh, damn. Final Fantasy 16. Straight up Final Fantasy 16. Starting the show with Final Fantasy 16 <laughs> is. Oh, Whoa, exclusive? What? what? Starting off that strong, that's ballsy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. It's weird. Like, the world, I wasn't super, like, super sold on the world. But, yeah. like, that that gameplay looks sick. Like, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Exclusively a PlayStation. Holy shit. Sorry, I was feeling some James Bond vibes. Um, but, yes, please keep us updated in the chat how our, uh, how our volumes are. Mm-hmm. Because that's going to help the the YouTube crowd. <laughs> yeah. I keep turning down the video, but I just want to make sure that uh, it is still hearable. Oh, I, I think I heard webs. Totally heard webs. Sick. Yep. I think we're getting gameplay. I can't believe we just saw Final Fantasy 16. Like, I, I, I'm i super juiced for Miles, but, like, what the heck? Yeah. I, I'm dumbfounded that they got it as an exclusive. And that they started the show with Final Fantasy 16? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, oh this, this looks great. Oh, God. I'm not going to be able to handle the showcase. I can already tell. <laughs> Dude, New York in the winter is going to be so much fun to swim in. Dude, we're getting just a full-blown story trailer. This is incredible. This is what I want. This game's going to be a launch title, right? Like, look how good this looks. Um... It's at least launch window. It's gonna be oh, dude, look at that Spidey mural. Are we going to get to straight up gameplay? Dude, this is gameplay. Dude. This is in engine. In look at this right now. Look at that ray tracing. Awesome I know it's the hot ticket man. thing, but look at that. Also, did people really did dance in the, the streets? Oh, last beat. Sorry, he meant like music beat, not like story beat. I'm like, is he like a <laughs> yeah. reporter like Pete? <laughs> also, I've I've turned the volume down so low that I can barely hear it. So if anything crazy happens, tell me. 
I know. I, I'm doing that that uh, adjusting too on my end. <laughs> Like, I'm so sorry, Brian Orton. I have no idea what you're saying, but I'm sure it's riveting. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game. But I did see uh, after the first game. Mike and I said he's going to get Final Fantasy 16. Shoot, because that's still a thing on PC. Oh, shoot. You don't have to shoot me with your guns. Captured on PlayStation 5 hardware. Underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos. In a I know we were just talking about Fortnite, so you have no idea what skin that I'm talking about. But those dudes dropping down look like a Fortnite skin. Let's take a look. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. <clears throat> yes. Let's not shoot each other. All right. Wait, what? Dude, are those the Third Street Saints? <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is the biggest crossover. <laughs> Saints Row and Spider-Man. <laughs> Thank you, Mike the Knight, for complimenting my singing. That's not... That's, that, I can do better. I, I promise. I'll do better for you. <laughs> Particles and pipes. There we go. There we go. Throw out that electricity, baby. I love that web sound, man. I love it so much. Dude, the sound design as a whole in Insomniac Spider-Man is so good. So good. Oh, snap. Oh, shoot. That's so way more So are you thinking this is going to be bigger than like some of the, the City That Never Sleeps DLCs we got? Or do you think it's going to be like all three of them combined in like length and content wise? Mm. Oh! I mean, I know that they, at one point they said that it was like a Lost Legacy type deal. Another point they're like, no, he's getting right. like a full story. Um, oh, damn. That's so good. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if you can hear it or not, Asa, but the music that's playing, like, behind Miles, like, the, the hip-hoppy, like, the beat is so dope. There's music? Like, it just fits Miles so well. Dang like, that's it! That's his, like, fight music. Does it give, like, um, Into the Spider-Verse vibes? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Yes. Oh, can you imagine the suits in this game? Oh, shit! Dude, I just can't wait to see some, like, Miles' sick finishers. Yes. Oh, I just love that they have all of his powers in there, too. Like, the turning invisible, the electricity. Oh, yeah. Like, they're really making wonder... him feel like his own Spider-Man. Oh, for sure. I'm wondering if Miles is going to have suit powers or if he's just going to have straight-up, like, power powers or gadgets. You know what I mean? Maybe he won't have as many gadgets as Peter. He'll just have powers. Oh. Well, I mean, since he has... A few more spider abilities. I could see them like pulling back on the gadgets. Zone. Right. Whoa, Big Eudas. What? Oh my gosh! Look at what? that. Oh my god. This is. I'm just gonna say it. This is a way better bridge scene than Marvel's Avengers. Oh, for sure, hundred percent. Oh my I'm, like, I'm tense right now. Like my palms are sweating. Yeah. That felt very reminiscent of like Sam Raimi Spider-Man One. Yes. Yes. Or was it? Maybe I'm thinking. Oh, uh, you, uh, you're thinking, thinking of, of when um, Amazing Spider-Man. You're, you're thinking. I, I'm right there with you. It's Sam Raimi Spider-Man, Green Goblin. He's got Mary Jane, and he's got the car, and he's like, "You choose, Spider-Man," and he lets go. <laughs> Can Spider-Man come out to play? Willem Dafoe. He needs to be in this game. I can stop this. Oh, of course, of course, of you've got to have a uh, holding stuff together by webs. Yep. Shot. Oh, flex those arms, baby, flex them. I also love the fact that like Miles is not handling this as well as Peter, and and he shouldn't. You know what I mean? He's only been Spider-Man for like maybe a year like i know they said this yeah. takes place after a year after but like has miles been spider-man the whole time like i feel like 
he remember at the very end i mean spoilers if you haven't played spider-man on ps4 but you see miles get his powers at the very end of the game mm -hmm. i think it's feasible that he's been spider-man or at least working on his powers for a year right that whole time oh. wow be greater yes i will and be myself be yourself man that's so cool no release date though that's surprising that is very it's it says holiday. holiday so i'm thinking that's not launch i think it's launch window are we not going to get a release date for the playstation 5 is it just going to say holiday <laughs> please I love what you said about the James Bond thing, because this definitely feels like very James Bond. Right? Okay. I want to make sure I'm not going, not losing my mind here. No, no, no. I totally feel that. Ooh. Ooh. Shoot. Yep. Let's go with Harry Potter. Oh. I, I just want to see it. Please be good. Together our long history. I just hope it looks like half as good as that leak stuff. You know what I mean? Leaked gameplay yeah. footage we saw. Oh my this is so so far we've seen hold on, let's we've seen Final Fantasy 16, Miles Morales, <laughs> and then now we're like at Hogwarts in the late eighteen hundreds. Are you shitting me? <laughs> this is blowing my mind. Wait, does this mean that it's not gonna be like are we not playing as Harry? Oh no. This is supposed to be like way early. This is way before Harry. This is BH. Now I gotta know, is this is this the time during Hogwarts where wizards would just drop Tau, take a shit on the floor, and magic it away? Or is this after the point? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> because if that's a mechanic, I'm I'm down. Like one of the survival games, you have to take a poop and you have to learn the spell to send it away. Yes. Dude, I'm getting strong vibes that this is going to be another exclusive, if not at least a timed exclusive. It looks really good, man. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Oh, are you oh, kidding me? Dude. How do you think it's was playing? That, was that Azkaban? You think this is going to be an action RPG? Oh, I hope so. Or are you feeling a uh, 3D Metroidvania? Uh, oh, that. Oh. I don't know why that's like I really mean, sticking out to me. Getting new spells. Maybe more like a uh, like a uh, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Dude, this looks exactly what I want out of a Harry Potter. Game. Yeah. And I like that it's not within the timeline of the books, or even the um, very happy Fantastic that. Beasts movies, because it means that they can do yep. what they want. Oh, dude, that music. Oh, Is it the Harry Potter like music and I'm missing it? I, I was like, you can't hear it, but it's like, it's an epic orchestral version of the Harry, like the theme song. Hogwarts Legacy. Holy wow. crap. Wow. Live oh the Unwritten gosh. 2021. Okay. Dude, I'm that so looks glad it's so real, and I'm so glad good. it looks that good. It looks like what we want a Harry Potter game to be. 100%. I want there to be like little uh, cheeky call outs to the movies. Like oh, if, for sure. if they don't say when Godrim Levio saw over and over again, I'm going to be a little ticked. <laughs> we have to learn it, right? I'm yes. Ex I got to learn these spells. I'm not just going to know them. Goals as developers is to bring the Wait, game Raven the software? Like anything you've ever experienced. And the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. Is this that With medium the game? The new console, we've been able to significantly mm -hmm. enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to what you hear around you. Oh, in no. Black Ops Cold War, you'll be That's Call of Duty. The year yeah, I don't really care about in Call of Duty. In the middle of one of the most dangerous times the world I mean, I'll, uh, the I'll play it because it looks interesting. The following is a portion and of the I'm, first campaign I'm mission, interested. Where you've been given the name <laughs> but I'm not invested. Linked to the Iran hostage crisis. But in true Black Ops style, also, has, has he just been talking about Call of Duty this whole time? Because I had no idea. I just had to infer. No, yeah, he was just like, hey. We're going to make Call of Duty better. And then you said something about Ronald Reagan. And I was all like, Asa, I don't really care about Call of Duty. And then you were all like, yeah, I'm going to play because it kind of looks dope in the multiplayer. And then you were all like, hey, I couldn't hear what he said. Is he talking about uh, Call of Duty? I'm like, yeah, he's pretty much just talking about Call of Duty. And then I think we're pretty uh, caught up from now. It's, it's time to look at the chat. What's happening in chat? <laughs> yeah, it's a good chat time. <laughs> Is anyone in the chat excited for Call of Duty? 
Airfield's just up ahead. <laughs> I know Mike and I in Threat Level are just so pumped for Black Ops. Well, actually, Threat Level might be interested in Black Ops. Priorities to ideal rock. It looks good, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, I will, yeah, I looking, take it looks away. fantastic. You see that person's name is Adler? Hey, shout out to, to Matt Adler. He's doing good stuff. Check out check out his articles at the IGNs. Heck yeah. Mike the Knight, why are you not going to be playing COD? See, like, this looks like the blockbuster Michael Bay movie stuff that I want to play. Yeah. But I just, I'm tired of paying... Does it sound lazy that I'm tired of paying for Call of Duty? Even though I haven't paid for Call of Duty for like the past three generations of god i get what you mean though like you're, you're paying essentially for the same game yeah like let me pay let me give you like 20 30 bucks let me just play the storyline i'll give it back yeah that's gotta be a rush full fire we need a positive id i get that mike i can understand that that's our man take him out please that, don't enjoy is that oh, dr shooting. disrespect say that again that guy looked like Dr. Disrespect in that plane. <laughs> oh no. I wouldn't oh, be yeah, surprised. No. Oh, oh. Whoa, what? We get some... Oh. That did Dr. look disrespect. like disrespect, by the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I will say... That, that bullet time thing... What? Grabbing people zoom. hostage, too? This This looks pretty cool. It looks like Battlefield, and like the way that the gunplay is working. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Ooh, that was graphic. Oh my gosh! Feels feels a little much. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff that I like about Call of Duty. It's like watching a summer action flick, and I, I don't yeah. care that much that I'm that invested that I would buy the Blu-ray to keep, but I would love to rent it. I get you. I mean, of course, I'm never going to, if I ever played the game, I'm never going to play this well. But, like, <laughs> it would be cool to watch someone play this well. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to like recreate Toy this. Story. This is the end of Toy Story 1. Yeah, it is. This is this is if Toy Story was rated R. Exactly. It's a quarter, <laughs> uh, it's a quarter video waiting to happen. <laughs> yes. Also, to uh, hear you mention Corridor just made me so happy. I'm very happy I can make you happy. It's one, of, it's one of my big goals in life. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Not gonna lie, you made me punch. Yeah. Oh! I don't even want to guess at how expensive it was to make all this. Expensive. This this feels almost, well, minus the, all the guns, feels almost like Fast and Furious Bad Boys y. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh. Also, is this one of those games that's considered quadruple A? This this feels like it would be a quadruple A game. It does feel like it'd be quadruple A. I'm just wondering if they had said that. Because if so, it's like okay, so now I can I have a visual representation as like to what that is. <laughs> what quadruple A looks like? Yeah, quadruple A would be a game that would be associated with Michael Bay. So I think that's fair. <laughs> yeah. I'm Michael Bay, and I make quadruple A movies. The next generation of multiplayer online combat. Oh, that's right. They haven't really showed much of uh, of the multiplayer suite. Special honor to announce on behalf of my friends and show zombies that the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting oh, this Friday, what? PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on really? PlayStation 4. That's pretty cool. And for those really? of you that are watching are we gonna... PS4, you can oh, that's this the weekend. experience starting tomorrow. We can't Damn. wait to see you online okay. Friday and through the weekend. Enjoy what's the, rest the, the What's the file size? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this alpha is only going to come at you at one terabyte. <laughs> if, if you have a large PS4, Asa, you can't play. Your machine is actually going to turn into an airplane and fly away because it doesn't want to play this game. <laughs> it's going to spawn jet turbines and destroy your living room. It will explode and kill your whole family. <laughs> Alright, what's next? I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> Battlefield? Sometimes you just see them like That'd side be by really side. Funny, right? <laughs> they Whoa. fall off. 
I mean, so far I'm not convinced Chris that it's not Battlefield. Wait a minute, nope, that's Chris Redfield. Wait, you said Chris. Take him away. This is uh, this is Resident Evil. Village. I I knew by that. Oh yeah, um, I remember that shot. Oh, look at that Capcom logo. That almost looks like Castlevania. Yes, I was legitimately just thinking that, in and I love that. And in death. It's Castle Castlevania's Konami, right? Yes. Okay. The bell Dude, this is giving me um. They're coming again. Resident Evil Four <laughs> vibes. No, I can feel that. I don't know how I feel about Ooh, them sticking with the whole it. first person. Ooh. I miss that over the shoulder because it's just too scary first person. I I couldn't too play seven. Scary. It scared me too much. It's too scary third person, man. Like I, I so my dad got me like Resident Evil Four. He goes, oh, I remember Resident Evil back in the day. You should. Ooh, this looks pretty cool. But he gave it to me, and I think. The f like I opened the first door in Resident Evil 4 where you find the first dead guy and the guy comes in with like a shovel or whatever and tries yeah. to kill you. I'm like, oh, I think I'm done. The, berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished. Wait, 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 wait. Are we still in Resident Evil? I mother's think so, yeah. What is that? The girl ran on over it's like vine, under branch. some sort of story, like Harry Potter-esque retelling of a story. It looks kind of like Coraline. Yeah, I thought James we jumped Beach. to some indie game. Probably. I wouldn't have to be so spooked. No, I, I can't. Dude. I don't know if I can play this game. Oh, I can't. I'm going to watch someone play it, but I'm sure Shik and I can play it myself. I love Resident Evil, but it just it looks like it's going to mess with my head too much. Oh, yeah. I think I, I watched Achievement Hunter do a, uh, a playthrough of Seven. That was a ton of fun. Um... But it seems like I thought I got, heard the guy say Mia, which I think was like the wife from the from Seven. Yeah. Who is this chubby guy? If it's just looking, window shop. Is it the penguin? <laughs> it looks like the penguin. Is that I Colin Farrell? All right, I think Danny DeVito was just confirmed for Resident Evil Eight. How much to make blasting. you beat it on stream? Um, so I streamed. I streamed it last year, for. Um, for Spooktober, Mike the Night. And that was, I want to say that was enough for me, but I mean, if we can get like some sort of hefty donation, maybe I'll play it again for Spooktober this year. Spooktober round two. Out of a time loop. Except two, Spooktober's going to be different. Two, it's Spooktober two is too spoopy. Too spoopy. Too spoop, too and each spooky. Is a different piece. Wait, is this Deathloop? Is that cool. what I was seeing? Is yeah, this is Deathloop. Okay. I've done so many I don't know why, for some reason, this is not what I envisioned when I was hearing people talk about Deathloop, and then it, it made me think that I never actually saw Deathloop. But this, wow, this I looks, think it looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah. Did you ever play, um, shoot, now I just forgot the name of the... Dishonored? The, no, not Dishonored. It was the epic game where you had, like, the whip on your arm... And you got like skill points for how creative you could kill your enemies. Oh, oh yeah. Um. Oh, and uh, Steve Bloom was the voice of the main guy. Yeah. Bullet Storm. Bullet Storm. Yes. Yeah, I played a Bullet Storm. Are you feeling Bullet Storm in this? The kick definitely made me feel Bullet Storm. Yeah. I think the the creative assassination kill stuff like that looks a little bit like Bullet Storm. Yeah. Igor is a big fan, yet somehow. Never makes it to the party. Something but it looks like this is co-op. Is that what I'm feeling here? Looks like it's what? Is this co-op? Because they're introducing I different if that's characters. What they're talking about. Some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it! It works. That he makes every morning. Unless <laughs> I get there first. Or it's like that guy he's got to kill is Igor. Wow, that. Oh, that was a cool reload animation. Yeah, it was. I love clever reload animations. That's no one of my favorite things. No yeah. Any anything to make it not feel like the basic like ch -ch 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 ready to go. Exactly. Now I got a shot at killing them both at the same Dude, there, this game has so much personality. It's I I'm really digging it. Oh yeah. I'm also feeling 13. You ever play 13? I did not. Man, 13 was so much fun. 
What was 13 about? Um, man, that was back when I didn't pay attention to storylines too much. But it was like espionage. It was cell shaded. Um, okay. Yeah, first person spy I'm loving that shooter. Thing, by the way. It the the tone felt kind of similar to this. Maybe not as spectacular. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Eight targets on my list. Every one of them with oh my gosh. For eternal life. To break the loop. I gotta break the I'm about to get real Class bummed out. So I just Why got a text saying that a few outlets like GameStop and Walmart started PS5 pre-orders earlier than they were supposed to, and now they're sold out. Uh, that's not surprising. Yep. Death loop. You Ooh. heard it here first. No one gets PlayStation 4. Or 5. Whoops. Yeah. Everyone gets PlayStation 4. Nobody gets a PlayStation 4. You already have one? We're taking Obsolete. it away. Everyone loses their privileges. <laughs> Alright, what if, what are we still waiting and hoping to see? Were, were there any games that I'm wondering we were... if we're going to see a God of War 2 tease. Okay, okay. God of War 2. I can't think of any other... So Final Fantasy 16. Like, I'm sorry. I'm still blown away by that. I know. I feel like that's the only... Even though people were like, it was rumored like, oh, there might be some Final Fantasy news during the thing. I don't know if anybody saw 16 wait, coming. Wait, is this the DMC5 Definitive Edition? Would I have your life and your mind? Sure, it looks like it. Dude, I adore this game. Ugh, I didn't play it. Dude, you're playing as Virgil? Holy shit. Oh my god, I know that there are mods and stuff, but oh my god, you're playing as Virgil. So you couldn't play as Virgil in the original five? Correct. He okay. was not a playable character. Unless they did some update I wasn't aware of, but to my knowledge, you could not play as Virgil. Man, Dante's like one of my favorite edge lords. Dude, is it going to be like a whole Virgil camp? No, I mean, these look a lot like the same level, so I'm sure it's not a Virgil campaign. Or Virgil story. It looks so good. Dude, I had so much fun playing this game. So should I wait for this, or should I go ahead and play it? Um, I, we're going to have to wait till the end of this trailer. Part of me would say wait, because like, I just don't know what this is going to add. Okay. You know? Cause yeah. It, it plays as smooth as butter it's so good so but story if wise add, like I, more story stuff i would wait okay i never finished four and i just couldn't get into dmc like that weird i don't know reboot if it was a reboot or not Devil may cry. digitally, at, digitally launch. at launch okay okay does that mean no physical whatsoever we assume that would be interesting. The first ever, like, digital... Well, not first ever, but, like... That's huh. a major title, too. Yeah. That's a big deal. Well, yeah, I would say, like... I know that's been rumored for a bit, because I've been seeing that. Um, I, I would think if they don't add story stuff, I don't think the Virgil gameplay is going to be that drastic. I think you could probably play it now if you could get your hands on it. Plus, it'll probably be cheaper. Yeah. But I loved the story. Gameplay was incredible. Each character feels so good to play. Yeah. And also, very unique. Super hyped for this. I, have you ever played any of like the Abe's Odyssey, Munch's Odyssey? I did not. I, oh, what? The I don't odd think so. My dad so might have played when I was younger and I watched him, but I don't think so. I can't wait to get back into the Odd World universe. Dude, Stranger's Wrath? You need to play Stranger's Wrath. Okay. Here are they are, are they point and click adventure Abe games? No. Fresh off the um, okay. The Abe's Odyssey games are 2D platformers, like puzzle okay. platformers. Munch's Odyssey is a 3D platformer, the and larger. Stranger's okay. Wrath is a first-person shooter where you are a bounty hunter and you use critters and animals as your weapons and ammo. <laughs> okay. Dude, so you got a little bit of everything. It's the coolest coolest game ever. I love the vibe of it. It's very western. 
I love how this looks. Yeah, this is this is how the the Odd World universe started. It's also very it's very dark. Okay, so it's not like a goofy game. It is goofy. There's a lot of humor, but it's okay. They I don't know. I feel like they strike a good balance between humor and seriousness. Okay, I get you. Also, this looks way more actiony than the first one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh no. I'm so excited. Wait here. Hey, why the hold up? I could go for a sandwich right now. We gotta get out of here. Come on, <laughs> let's get out of here. Here's, brown, here's a random story for you. So, okay. Munch's Odyssey, the third person one, um, uh -huh. originally came out for the the OG Xbox. Came out as a launch title. Or at okay. least launch window. And I played the entirety of that game while listening to Good Charlotte in the background. I don't know why that just popped <laughs> in my head, but yeah. That makes, that makes all the sense in the world. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. What are they saying? Please, come out. Gregory, your friends are waiting for you, Gregory, are worried for you. I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen I may have again. lost my temper, just a glitch. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play Dude, what together? is this? I don't know. It won't happen again. Oh, whoa, is it, what? Is it a Five Nights game? Dude, this is a Five Nights game. It was just what? A oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Gregory, what? I think she's found us. <laughs> Whoa! Well, Matt Pat's gonna have some more work to do, and he just yeah. posted a video saying he solved the Five Nights stuff. Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. Damn! Did you wow. see them shiny ass floors? <laughs> it's, it's no longer this dingy kid's birthday restaurant. <laughs> you ever play the Five Nights at Freddy's games? I have watched people play them, but I could not play them myself. There's no way. I've I've watched a bunch of the Matt Pat video, the game theory videos about them too. There, I have one, and I don't remember what the other one is. Oh, but they're fun. Studios. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its oh, uh, this Ooh. is Demon Souls. I I would imagine. Yep. Well, but it's a. Okay, blue. Yeah. Point. Okay, it's such a pants, dude. It didn't say blue point though. Unless blue point's doing like another, like a Dark Souls remake. Dude, we don't need another Dark Souls. I'm glad that it's it's Demon Souls. Even though I wanted Bloodborne too. Yeah. I'm glad that it's Demon Souls because I feel like there aren't very many people now that that played it. I didn't play it. Like Dark Souls was my first like. Souls born game. I didn't even know there was anything before it until later. That blows my mind. God, that looks good. Also, Mike the Knight, what do you mean DS4? What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, Dark Souls 4? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know why I, I couldn't pick up on that. Or he meant Demon Souls forever. Mm, yeah. Well, maybe. This looks really good. Yeah. I'm interested to see, because so far it seems like it, it's playing a little bit faster than the original. Like, not by mm -hmm. much, but just a little bit. Do you think that's like a, like they've changed the gameplay type, or do you think that's just because it's running smoother? Um, I think a combination of the two. I think it's running smoother, but then I, I think they're also trying to modernize it a little bit more because Demon's Souls was the first one. Um, yeah. It's really, really slow, methodical, and hardcore. I, It seems like maybe they're trying to pick it up to at least Dark Souls 2 or 3 as far as speed. It, it's not even close to, to Bloodborne and speed, but... Uh, I was going to say, like, I only played Dark Souls 1, but the, the roll animation felt faster than at least Dark Souls 1. Yeah. I haven't seen him roll yet in here, and I don't remember a roll in Demon Souls. I don't think there was one. Okay, he he rolled up and up to one of the the guys he just fought. I think that, oh, that first okay. guy with the sword and shield. He rolled up to him. 
Okay, yeah, I don't remember if there was one in the original. I might have to go back and uh, and play it. I mean, maybe this would be like a Kingdom Hearts 2 remake for, or not remake, but remaster version where the the role was only added into the final mix version, mm. and then when we finally got the HD remaster, we were able to dodge roll in Kingdom Hearts 2. Look at that. The more you know. In case anyone was wondering. Knowledge is power. Oh, that's not what I was saying. Threat level? What was the thing I used to say? Oh, <laughs> the science, so we can be safe. <laughs> Mike the Knight, see Josh gets me. How does it make you feel? <laughs> I got you, Mike the Knight. Mike the Knight, I think I'm going to sleep I just will be fine. your interpreter for Asa. You know what? Somebody has to. <laughs> <laughs> I take that responsibility. Oh my gosh. I love the fact that they are showing the damage on the monster's body. That is pretty cool. Like, you're not just mm -hmm. hacking and slashing and you're not seeing any visual representation of it. I wanted mm -hmm. to get to the level of, um... I know we, you and I have talked about it before, but X-Men Origins Wolverine, I wanted to get to that Oh, level. yeah. I've been thinking about that game. We should get... Where's X-Men Origins Wolverine 2? We need it. <laughs> no, don't... Not nah, the movie. Not the movie. Game. Just the not game. Not the movie. The game. Oh, or just man. another dope-ass Wolverine game. Or just the X-Men Origins Wolverine remake. Yeah, I'd take that. 100%. This game is so much fun. Dude, this game looks so good. I can't wait for that. It looks really, really pretty. We need to get more release dates. This better have a release date on it. Or just uh, skip everything all together and punch me in the you mouth. Have nothing? Son of a gun. No. That didn't even have, like, a holiday or anything, did it? It just... It just kind of came and went. Huh? Shotgun McPain, baby. Thanks for watching. Woo -woo. Is it going to be a launch title? Is it? Did they say launch title? They should have put it in here. Oh, shit. I hear Fortnite. Do you? Yeah, I just heard the bus. What? What can they possibly do <laughs> to Fortnite to make it feel worthy? Fortnite ray tracing. I've already got ray tracing on my PC on Fortnite. Ooh. This is the uh I play Fortnite on Switch, so I'm not gonna notice. This is the trailer that was out for uh the season. Oh, okay, so they're just announcing that it's I oh, mean it's I would assume okay. that makes sense. Was anybody questioning that Fortnite was not gonna be on <laughs> next gen systems? Right, I was gonna be really surprised. <laughs> Ooh, PlayStation Plus PS collection. Plus collection? <gasps> okay, hold on. <laughs> My brain just went a million miles per hour, but I need to shut up and just see what they say. <laughs> Nope, never mind. I'm going to say it. What if we get yeah, every it. single PlayStation Plus game that's ever come out? That would be crazy. <laughs> right? It. But wait, are we just. Are they saying we're getting these games on launch? I mean, that's kind of what it looks like, right? Yes, because these are major titles. I know they're yeah. PS4, but still. Uh, if you can get a PS5 and like play all of these like up, ooh, like all updated for PlayStation 5, that would be dope. Yeah, yeah, it would. This would this is a way to get people to buy your expensive butt system if they oh, can't yeah. afford to buy games right away. Th this would almost be a reason for me to want. Like I haven't been. Ooh, I've wanted to play Batman a lot. Lately. I have not had any real, like, desire to get a PlayStation at launch, mm -hmm. but, like, if I'm going to be able to play all of these games at launch, I would probably do it. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it's that weird thing where I own a lot of them. See, that's just P5. That's not P5 Royal. Though. I know. I wish it was P5 Royal. I was literally just thinking that, Because if it was too. P5 Royal, I would buy it in a heartbeat. Mike and I says Fortnite isn't on Apple devices. False. I have Fortnite on this device and it works. <laughs> Go ahead, tell me. Tell me I can play these on launch on a PS5. There it is. Damn. Wow. Damn. Hats off. Look That's at that. You buy cool. a PS5, get PlayStation Plus, launch. You can play all those PS4 games. 
Wow. They, those are, I wish it so was P5 it. Royal, but wow. Here's That's the big smart. kicker. I mean, like, Will like, it take I, I know it's not going to combat X uh, Games Pass, but like, that's a good way to do it. Like, hey, we don't have a huge launch lineup, but like, yeah. here are the best games of last generation. Um, play them. Also, can I just say, in response to Game Pass, they have PlayStation now, and it's so much better than what it was before, and people don't know that. Mm -hmm. You can download games now. You don't have to stream them. I'm, I think they're going to work out. I think they're going to be able to like really nail down what the need PlayStation had to be in this next generation. Yeah. You think we're done with games? You think that was it? Now we're just on the console? I think so. I mean, how much time we got left here? Yeah, we got five minutes left. Oh, yeah, they're done. I would think so. The console... I think the console looks really pretty. Like... <laughs> Shaka McPain, my hype is unbelievable. Listen, I, my hype levels would be even higher. If my son wasn't sleeping in the next room, I'd be jumping and screaming. I'd rip my shirt off. You better okay, believe that. Right oh, shoot. Digital edition. Oh, prices. Okay. Damn. Awesome. That's really cool. That's that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh shoot. Wait, let me pause it real November quick. November 12th. That's the same day as the Xbox, right? Uh, I thought the Xbox was the 10th. Okay, so U.S., Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea. That's very specific. And then rest of the world, the 19th. A staggered yeah, release. Has that happened? Thank you, Mr. McPain. Can anybody look it up or just put it in the comments on the YouTube version of this? $500 is not... I, I don't think $500 so you know. is bad. You know what I mean? Like, no. I get that it's a sizable chunk of change, today. but for what this console is going to do, like, that's not journey. terrible. It's I mean, it's a hundred dollars. I the PS4 at launch was four hundred. Oh, bless you, right. Kiva. Oh, that was Kiva. From everyone Plus, like, I mean, it's not six hundred dollars, which people th support. thought it could be. You know, right, right. You like people think it was going to be six, seven hundred dollars. The five hundred is very tame. To close, let me leave you with one Asa, more quick. Look. I think this is it. Wait, one more quick look. One more. We got sneak peeks. The boom Nintendo. I can hear the music. This is motherfucking God of War. Is it? Oh. I'm so mad. Oh, I, can't I love hear that it. music so much. <gasps> Tell me what it's called. Tell me what it's called. Tell me what it's called. Oh, look at the ash. Look at the ash. Oh my gosh. Oh, Kratos, you're going to make me paint Is my Ragnarok? skin, baby. Oh, it's Ragnarok. Woo! Oh my god. You're going to so punch me through the screen. I haven't finished God of War yet. 2021? Are you shitting me? Wait, is yours moving faster than mine? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. I paused mine. You paused it. That's right. That's right. You didn't pause yours. I was too excited and I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Ragnarok is coming. Holy crap, man. 2021. 20 I am. I'm, I think I've got time. I can beat the first one. You haven't beaten the first one yet? Are you kidding me? No, you didn't hear me slyly sneak that in there? <laughs> no, you're lucky I didn't. I said you're going to punch uh, me camera? through the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you too. Shotgun my pain. It's probably due to COVID for the staggered release. Just interesting. Yeah. You think it's going to help? I mean, like, it's only a couple of days, so maybe it won't, but I was going to say, like, the production time? Mm. Honestly, I don't know. Also, they're showing games in this montage that they didn't show during the showcase. Yeah, I was going to say. White almost looked like a Nino Kuni. Yeah, and they're games that they definitely didn't show in the past reveal either. Yeah. Yeah, like this one, this is that one. Um, Godfall. Whatever game that I can't think of. Wait, what is this? Is that Ooblets? I think so. There was another game that looked like freaking Gravity Rush. Quatillums. Hello, friend. Thank you for uh, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you. Appreciate indeed. Look at this. There's so... I want to see these games. What are these games they're right. showing? Talk about these ones. Come on, PlayStation. I'm, I'm glad they didn't talk Horizon. Are you? I am. Because, like, what we don't need to know anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Like what's what's their more what's what could they tell us? I guess they could show us more, but I mean it's it's far out, like Yeah. I mean I'm really happy with what they showed us. I wish that they would have shown more of Astrobot, um show more of little little big planet. Mm -hmm. I am really, really happy with that showing. That, that was it? really cool. Like, and the God of War is like, I, I had a feeling it was going to be there. I didn't know what to expect, but like Ragnarok is coming. That's awesome. I'm yeah. So yeah. excited. Let's, I'm going to pause it on this screen. And again, looks cool. they opened the show with Final Fantasy 16. Dude, that, that opening blows my mind. I cannot believe that that's, that's how crazy. they started things. And then just sneaking it in there that it's going to be a console exclusive. What the that was heck? that was ridiculous. <laughs> I, which is really weird to me because because Square has been doing so many steps to like make it not like like give Final Fantasy to everyone. Like I remember when it was a big deal like Final Fantasy 13 was going to be on 360 or mm -hmm. even when Kingdom Hearts 3 was like, "Hey, we're going to be on uh, Xbox 2." Everyone was all upset, which I don't get because if you can bring the game to more people, that's awesome. Right. But the fact that Final Fantasy 16 is going to be a console exclusive that's interesting I, I just wonder what the deal is or like why Square's doing that so I mean I don't want to say back to the roots because the roots really like uh, they're on the the SNES and mm -hmm. and you're getting back into the, the older consoles but I mean if you look at after I think it was after 6 all of the Final Fantasies were on Sony consoles yeah because seven, 7 was the first one on the Playstation right uh, I think I think so because I think they brought the other ones in, like some of the older ones in later. Um, okay. And it, please correct me wrong in in the chat and in the comments uh, if I'm incorrect on that. But then it wasn't until I want to say Final Fantasy 13 that they started bringing it to other consoles. Right, that was the first one that went to the Xbox 360. Yeah, I remember that was a really big deal. Yeah, and it was like four discs. is ridiculous. 13 was four discs 13 on the xbox 360 was four discs that's why i didn't finish it i was like i'm tired of this and i was <laughs> I loving the game too i just disc. can't I, I can't switch the discs all the time but yes gino I'm with you. i think that was probably the the best showing this year so far see i was gonna say that like I, i'm I, I feel you gino i think that was super crazy like i was super hyped i don't know if it beats um, that first conference where we got the PlayStation 5 announcement. Well, like, not the announcement, but the reveal of the console. Oh, uh, um, okay, yeah. I just think there was something special because we didn't really know what to expect. All the motion graphics were so buttery smooth. Like, they were good in this one, but, like, that first one had something a little bit different to it. And I think it was because... I think it's hard to compare. We got the price. That was super cool. Again, Final Fantasy 16, the Harry Potter game got a warranties like that's all super awesome yeah but i think there was more like hype going into the reveal of the playstation 5 that to me that one felt a little bit more special but maybe that's just me i'm not well, sure well and i i think to your point though that's exactly why it was so much better and there was so much more mm -hmm. production value into it is because it was the reveal like right it had to be big it, it had to be that big so like it to what you're saying, Gino, I think this is probably the best one because of the the really like off the wall announcements. I feel like the announcements in the actual reveal, some of which we didn't see coming, but most of them we did. So yeah, um, there were rumors a bunch. Yeah, a lot of rumors, but we also saw a lot of gameplay in this one, and we didn't see a lot of gameplay in the last one. I mean, I think yeah, as a whole, point. I feel like PlayStation has it had a stronger showing. Um, Xbox, I feel like, again, is doing phenomenal. But then again, I feel like they're really heavily pushing on to um, Game Pass. So, Right. They're, and I think, like, uh, Tim said it sometime this week or last week. Tim Gettys, that is. Uh, Tim Gettys, kind of funny. Yeah. 30 for 30, Tim Gettys, Best Baby Blues, a.k.a. all those jazz. Um, that it doesn't... I don't think it's a console war anymore. You know what I mean? And he had said it best. Like, it makes sense... And even Phil Spencer has gone off to say, like, we're not really competing. We're just doing our own thing. And yeah, I think yeah. it shows, yeah. like, they're, they're really pushing, like, hey, this is the most powerful console. But they also did that with the One X. And they're just like, I mean, even with, with xCloud, like, they're pushing, hey, play Xbox games wherever you want to in our system. Like, right. 
They just want people not really in their ecosystem. There's no reason for me to get an Xbox One, uh, get, get an Xbox Series X, because in theory, if I wanted to, I could play everything I needed on my original Xbox uh, One. Yeah. I mean, it might not look as good, it may not run as smooth, but I could play that if I really wanted those games. Yeah. Where PlayStation Five or where Sony, excuse me, is still very much that traditional, like, hey, this is the next greatest con, like this is the next console. It's great. Here are all these fantastic games. It feels like Sony's making the right moves. It, it's weird because I don't feel like they're going head to head. I just feel like everyone's kind of doing their own thing. And and I think Sony's feels the most familiar. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've also been a Sony fanboy like most of my <laughs> life. So I think that's why I kind of gravitate towards that anyways. Yeah. But I think Xbox is killing it too. I think they're both doing a phenomenal job. And I am really excited for this next generation of gaming. I think... The only people that are going to benefit the biggest are going to be us, the gamers. Oh, yeah, the, the consumers are hands down the only people that are going to benefit. And you know, I, to that, I think that um, I think the console wars are are dumb. They're over. I think they really mm-hmm. only live within the gamer. Um, but I think out of the three major companies, I feel like Sony probably still feels that console war mentality the most. And mm-hmm. while Xbox might not, I feel like I feel like I've said this before but microsoft like is still the overarching business and they they still want to sell units like they it's still a business they still want to make money um Mm -hmm. the xbox team phil spencer all of them they just want people in the ecosystem they view that as a win but at the end of the day it's not like xbox is making this new console and they don't want to sell them so they they want to start giving you a reason to buy them so right 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 um but yeah, without like, I, that's where like, I was going to make a video a while ago of like, Hey, who had the better showing, but I didn't want to feed into that negativity. Um, I get you. And it's, it's hard even now, like in talking about it, like, I feel like I have to tiptoe cause I don't want to like necessarily, uh, give it a score. Um, not that I don't agree with you, Gino, cause I do, I feel like this was the, out of all of the showcases, even though we haven't seen a legitimate one from Nintendo yet, let, let's just point yeah. that out. There has not been a legitimate, just Nintendo Direct. There's been the Mario one and then the indie mm-hmm. one, but not a Nintendo Direct. So throw that out there. But are they in this conversation though? Really? I mean, like when when we talk about the new consoles, like I are we really worried about what Nintendo's going to do? L- let me tell you what. Are you going to be buying Nintendo games this this holiday this fall? Yeah. They're in the conversation. Okay. Fair. Fair. That's what I mean, but but the Nintendo. In my defense, the Nintendo games I'm buying this fall. I'm buying the Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Dude, it doesn't even it doesn't even matter. I am a You're buying Hearts it on the Switch. You, you, it, it, they are in best played on the Switch. I get that. Yeah, Nintendo has been doing their weird off cadence console release for so long that they've just. Yeah. Have you ever noticed they're just always kind of in the conversation, but they're not like they know that they're not going to release their stuff at the exact same time because they're just going to get overlooked. So they release right, software when others are releasing hardware. Because, like, look, you, you were asking about the release date of, of the Xbox Series X, and I had to first think about when is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity coming out because I know that Xbox is 10 days before that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Nintendo's in the conversation. <laughs> no, I get you, I get you, I get you. But, um, hey, it, looks dope. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Biddick, for, for reacting to this with me. And thank you to you all on Twitch for hanging out in the chat, for watching this with us. Um, please, mm-hmm. I know that um, <laughs> I know that you just sat and watched this live with us, which that's the allure. Um, but this is going to be going up on YouTube, which thank you, YouTube viewers Beautiful as well. Faces. So if you wouldn't mind, yes. watch it again. You, you might see something that you didn't see before. I know I'm going to watch it because I couldn't even hear half the stuff. So. Yes. There you go. Yeah. I'm um, actually probably going to watch it when I when I get off this right now. And if you want, you know what? If you already watched the video and you're like, oh, I don't know what to say in the comments, how about you copy and paste everything you said in the Twitch chat over there in the YouTube comments? Then everyone who's watching it later, they'll be like, oh, man, these guys are super dope. They're super smart here in this chat. All these commenters are probably like the most handsome, beautiful people I've ever read in my entire life. I'm so glad I did this. Oh, this happened on Twitch? What's that? Maybe I should go check out on Twitch and watch this live. Wins. And then also, like, get to chat and communicate with these beautiful people in the chat. And oh, what? <laughs> Shock and McPain streams? I'm going to go watch that. So because you watched this video again on YouTube and streamed it, BLE gets more viewers. Shock and McPain's going to get more viewers. Gino is going to win every Fortnite match he's ever, or not Fortnite, every Fall Guys match he's ever walking into. Not Fortnite. Just because you went and watched this video again on YouTube and, and posted your comment again. So you should totally do that. 
I don't. Do I even need to be here? <laughs> that was. Well, yeah, I don't I think mean, I could have I said it better myself. Off of you're so pretty. You make me feel <laughs> safe and comfortable. Well, uh, well, how about this? Uh, uh, I realize that this isn't like one of our conventional game chat podcast episodes, but Biddick, anything else that you want to plug? You want to send people to? Uh, where can people find you? I didn't put well, up our ads anywhere. Me. Well, yeah, exactly. You can be, uh, find me on Twitter at Josh Biddick. Uh, of course, if you're in the chat right now, you know that I host the Up and Comer podcast where each and every week I sit down with someone who is running for the Up and Comer opportunity. Uh, uh, Jock McPain has actually been on an episode. Uh, spoiler alert, he is currently the highest listened to episode. Uh, right after that is one and only Asa Green River. So you guys can fight there. I don't know if I've, t- I don't know if I've told you both that independently. I've you independently haven't. I've told you both. And this video is going to be on the, so the BLE channel. So um, folks, you exactly. know what to do. Uh, <laughs> and of course, you can sometimes see me here on BLE, which is fantastic. Uh, and yeah, keep, keep seeing my shiny face. And if you want me to do something, tell me and maybe I'll think about it or I'll forget one of the two. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm moving right now, so things are all crazy, and hopefully my background will be different one day, and my brain will all be sane and in the same place. It'll be lovely. Yeah, get uh, once life <laughs> comes down, get ready to see Biddick more. Yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. Get ready to see Biddick more. He's uh he's he's working on some projects for BLE. I'm super excited for those. They're going to be fantastic. Um, and then also a few other things to plug. Mentioned it before, but Game Chat, our flagship video games podcast. Um, we just had the episode with Lily Zaldivar from Viz Media last week. Um, the next episode, which is in two weeks, a week or two weeks, uh, is with David from the Ardcast. So there's a there's a spoiler. You know it now. So if you're watching this, you're the only person who knows, unless you go and tell people. Um, and then I just talked about it today on Twitter. What was the date? September 16th, 2020, on a Wednesday, Today. there is a new podcast called Parents at Play, where my wife and I sit down and talk about our nerdy lives once our son goes to bed. So please give that pilot episode a listen. Um, it's a ton of fun. I'm going to make sure to put the link maybe in, in the stuff below. But yeah, so mm-hmm. thank you so much again. Above all else, be well, Borderline family. Be well. <laughs>